Hi, I'm James, and I've come along today to learn all about mechanical engineering and uh, what the job itself entails and all the bips and bobs as to what goes on. Mechanical engineering is all about the designing and building of mechanical devices to do the jobs people can't or don't want to do. Today we've brought James along to meet mechanical engineer John Bannister, owner of Automac Engineering. G'day, I'm John Bannister, good to meet you. Likewise. A mechanical engineering technician designs mechanical components to precise calculations to suit its intended purpose. Then, with computer-aided drawing or CAD, the manufacturing process of that part begins. Today, they'll be taking a CAD drawing and making a shaft and sprocket component for a box folding machine. Uh, we're going to design up a couple of parts, going to have a sprocket, some bearings, some bits and pieces on it, um, and then we'll go and manufacture the parts this afternoon. Cool. Mechanical engineering, we'll start off with design, um, and then you've got uh, the workshop element of it, which is um, manufacturing the parts, um, and then assembling machinery, um, and then installation and commissioning on site, and then towards the end you inevitably get involved in programming and software, um, that sort of stuff. So there's some electrical content in there as well. So yeah, I'm certainly not stuck behind my desk from 9 to 5, that's for sure. Nice work, James. So with the appropriate safety gear on and their design in hand, it's time to transform the measurements into cold hard steel. OK, James, so we've got a drawing here of the part that we made. Yep. So what we need to do is we need to select the bar to make that part out of. And we're only going to make one part, so we'll just do this in the, in yep. the manual centre lathe. Cool. Righto, so we've got our verniers here for measuring. So we're after some, some 65, so that's exactly what we need there. That one there. So this is called a band saw. This is just what we use to chop the right length bit of steel off. Yep. Looking at the drawing, we need 78.85 millimetres, so we'll make it yep. um, 81 millimetres long and we can machine it to length. Yep, cool. The sort of qualities that make someone a good uh, engineer is, firstly, I think you need to be a relatively practically minded person, be good in a team environment, and very importantly, I think problem solving skills is something that, that you need to have, being able to work through a problem and come up with a solution. Cool. There you go, there's a, a bit of steel that we'll machine up, so we'll just give it a wipe down. Put that in the lathe and we'll machine it. Cool, sounds good, let's go. From here, the centre lathe refines the coarse steel bar to within a hundredth of a millimetre, and it's starting to resemble the sprocket and shaft it will become. The machine part is then sent off-site to be laser cut. One of the production processes that's really sort of revolutionised the way that engineering's done in recent years is laser cutting. Laser cutting is a precision cutting edge technology used to finely cut metal materials. The high powered beam of the laser is directed onto the metal via computer, leaving an edge with a smooth, high quality surface area. It's a really fast and cost effective way of, of, of making componentry. While waiting for the part to come back, John takes James to JMP Engineering to take a closer look around a larger scale operation. Mechanical engineering technicians need a good understanding of all manufacturing processes, including welding. The further you push the pedal, the faster you go, so the more heat you generate. Okay, right. you're left-handed? Yep. Oh, okay, I'll have to go on that side then. <laughs> <laughs> a technician in this field would oversee the entire design and manufacturing process to ensure the work is done to specification and to a high quality. So James, how did you find that? Yeah, no, that was great. That was awesome. Um, that's, that's a good tack over there. Yep. That's sort of what you need. Rising up. Robotics yep. is a rapidly advancing field within okay, mechanical engineering. Chris and James yep. set to so work calibrating to this carton palletizing machine to stack yep. over 30 cartons per minute. Yep. Okay, robot's now live. Your first motion you want to do is straight up out of the accumulator. Yep. So you hold the Z plus down. So, no, no, no. Oh. Hold the Z plus. Yep. Okay. Hold that down, keep bringing it up, keep bringing it up, rise all the way up till it's clear. So how did you get into the, the whole engineering thing? When I was at, at school, I always enjoyed engineering, building things, built boats, things like that. So uh, engineering was always going to be what I wanted to do, it was just a matter of how I went about doing it. Chris went on to complete his mechanical engineering apprenticeship, then went on to higher study with his national diploma in engineering equivalency, giving him the necessary design, mathematical and programming skills for his technician's role. And that was 10 years ago. Wow, 10 years. So after I finished my apprenticeship, I got started, started programming, design work, and uh, now I get to play with these things. Back at the AutoMac the workshop, the sprocket and shaft part is okay, ready to so be installed. Um, the tray former machine takes a piece of flat cardboard and makes over 830 boxes per hour. So we'll, uh, we'll take you apart, we'll install it in the machine and see if it works, eh? Yep, let's give it a try. Excellent. 
Right, so what we need to do is we need to mount up the stub shaft in, in there first. Yep. Then we'll put the chain and the sprockets on there. So, yep, um, that way. so it's got to come in from, from my side. That side yep. Personally, I find mechanical engineering very rewarding. The main reason for that is we take an idea that we've been given by a customer or an idea that we've worked on with the customer. We take that idea and we go away and we design a solution. We build some equipment, we install the equipment and see it running. So you've taken an idea and turned it into reality. And, uh, that's, that's personally very rewarding. Okay, feels pretty good. So with the shaft and sprocket installed and all the nuts and bolts in place, it's crunch time. You press start, see if, see if your cart works. All right, let's go. Cool, that's good. Looks like James has a heavyweight career in boxing ahead of him. But how to get those boxes from A to B? Solution, packaging conveyor belts. I think there'll always be a need for mechanical engineering. Almost every, every industry needs mechanical engineering, so I think it's a, a very solid career choice. It's always evolving and there's always a new challenge around the course, so you should hopefully never get bored. I think we've done well here, James. So do I. We deserve a cuppa, I reckon. It's, it's about that time, isn't it? Maybe some cake? Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at this. Choice. Choice. Oh, I think we've deserved it. Yeah. Why not? Cake? Nah, you can have it. Oh, well. So, John, how do you think James went? James did really well today. He, um, he's definitely got quite a practical aptitude, so that's really important. Um, he's, uh, he was really keen to get involved and just get stuck in, so that's also a really good quality, so I think James will do really well in this profession. Mechanical engineering, yeah, it's exciting. Um, there's definitely a lot that goes on. Lots of excitement, lots of skills you need to learn on the job, and it's a skill I can now take away with me and uh, put to use somewhere. There is a real shortage of mechanical engineering technicians in New Zealand, and the chances of getting a job are good. Useful subjects to study at school include English, Maths, Physics, Chemistry and Graphics. To become a Mechanical Engineering Technician, a National Diploma in Engineering Level 6 is recommended. This takes two years of full-time study, or you can complete your diploma as a cadet.